Spring feels more like winter this morning in parts of the Northeast. It's snowing across New York State and southern New England. The early spring storms are blamed for several accidents. Two people died in Massachusetts where up to a half foot of snow could pile up today. Jerika Duncan is in Worcester, west of Boston. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. Here in Worcester, people have been digging out all weekend. I mean, look at that. There's a snow plow behind me. And Parts of Massachusetts received up to eight inches of snow yesterday. And while you ask people around here, has it been a mild winter in the Northeast? They say yes, but you can just take a look at this background and see that winter is not going out quietly. Freezing 40 miles per hour wind gusts were no help to first responders in central New York Sunday. It's believed whiteout conditions caused a dozen vehicles to pile up on Interstate 88. Several injuries were reported. In Massachusetts, crews worked to clean up trees and power poles knocked over by the snow and high winds. Keep these people back. Down power lines caused thousands of power outages across the state. And I just looked out and it was just a terrible time. A husband and wife died in a Boston suburb after a tree crashed on their car. Brian Easton was out shoveling snow and saw it happen. The uh, car came along and just perfectly the tree fell right on the roof and it took about eight feet for it to stop. The tree just bounced right off it. Wind gusts reaching 60 miles per hour blew shingles off rooftops in New Jersey and pummeled abandoned buildings in Maryland. I just heard this loud sound like, bah, bah, I mean, like it was serious. With winter weather advisories and freeze warnings issued from New Hampshire all the way to Tennessee, people like Kathy O'Neill are ready for spring's arrival. I don't want any more of this. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I totally agree. And today's storm is expected to move offshore by later tonight. And believe it or not, on Thursday, I will not need this heavy jacket, this heavy coat, rather. That's because temperatures are expected to reach the 60s in this area. Gail? We'll see what Mother Nature has to say about that, Jerika. <laughs> we'll see. I hope you're right. Thanks a lot.